Katy Perry's music video for her song Dark Horse sounds like a love letter to Lucifer and looks like a clear Illuminati induction, cementing her as one of the most popular Illuminati puppets in entertainment today. The video is littered with Illuminati all-seeing eyes, pyramids, and serpents, and the overall theme is that of black magic, as Katy Perry embodies Isis, the Egyptian goddess, who then zaps potential suitors with her black magic powers while singing about magic and saying that once you are hers, there's no turning back. So what you guys have just heard is most likely true. I mean, let's face it, many music videos these days, whether directly or indirectly, promote Satan worship, glorify Satan or Lucifer as they refer to it. But what I want to focus on in this video is not this. What I want to focus on is a particular image or a section of her new video, The Dark Horse, which shows an individual wearing the name of Allah, the name of God, as a locket. And this is, this is called uproar. This has really offended many Muslims, millions of Muslims around the world, and it's distressed them, and it's, so, so it's done the same to me as well. But what I want to point out, brothers and sisters and friends, is that yes, this has upset us, and rightly so, but we should respond, and we should respond in a positive way. We shouldn't just sit there getting angry, because the reality is, brothers and sisters, that Allah, God, has blessed us with something far greater, something far greater than these people have, Wallahi. The reality is, these people may have all the money, may have all the cars, the houses, the boats, the fame, or whatever else it may be, but inside they're empty, inside they're dead. As Allah tells us in the Quran, verily hearts find rest in the remembrance of Allah. These people ain't remembering Allah. What's their stake going to be? And we can see, I mean, just look over the past few years, how many rich, famous celebrities, people that belong to the music industry have died, committed suicide, died because of, died because of drug overdoses. I mean, the, 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 the proof is there. The reality is there. These things don't satisfy you. These things aren't going to give you happiness or satisfaction. They may give you momentary fame or money or, or temporary ephemeral pleasure which is an illusion anyway and is not going to last. But they're not going to give you ultimate happiness. But these people are ignorant. People like Katy Perry are ignorant. They don't know this reality. We should feel sorry for them. We should have sympathy for them because the reality is they don't know. As Allah says in the Quran, and this is amazing and this is profound because it really tells us or shows us the state of these people. He says in the 102nd chapter verses 1 and 2 that these people are obsessed by greed, greed for more and more and more, competition, wanting to compete with each other to see who has more, until they hit their graves. Until they hit their graves. And this is their reality. So what Allah has given us as Muslims is far greater, far greater than what Shaitan or Satan or Lucifer can give these people. And this is why we need to feel sympathy and sorry for these people and share the message of Islam with them. So take such opportunities. Yes, get... I'm not saying don't be offended, we are naturally offended by this. But take these opportunities to convey the message of Islam to these people. To give them something. Because as Muslims, we should be people who care for humanity, care for these people. You know, as Allah says, as the Prophet ﷺ told us that, you know, you should want for your brother what you want for yourself. And this brotherhood is not just brotherhood in Islam, but brotherhood in humanity. So we should want for these people Jannah as we want Jannah, paradise. And we should try to take them away from worshipping other things other than Allah, such as Satan. I hope this video has benefited you, brothers and sisters. Please share this video, inshallah, with others, with Muslims and non-Muslims. And let's get this message out there. Let's convey the message of Islam.